warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. Today we are now in chapter 3. Chapter 3, we will divide into two part, part 1 and part 2. So in part 1, we, we will discuss about the first law of thermodynamics. In chapter 3, there are 8 subtopic. 3.1 is about the first law of thermodynamics. 3.2 is about first law applied to closed and controlled volume system and we discuss about steady flow process. 3.3, second law of thermodynamics. 3.4 is about thermal energy reservoir. It includes heat engine, energy conversion efficiencies. 3.5 is about revisible and irreversible process. 3.6 is about cannot cycle and principle, cannot heat engine, 3.7 is about entropy principle, isentropic process and 3.8 is about isentropic efficiency of steady flow device. So, what is the objective of this topic? First, we want to develop the conservation of mass. Secondly, we want to apply conservation of mass principle to various systems including steady flow and unsteady flow control system, apply the first law of thermodynamics and solve the energy balance problem for common steady flow devices. Okay, next we go to thermodynamic system. So, in this topic, first, first thing first, we want to know the definition of closed system and open system. So, this is closed system and this is open system okay so for closed system as you can see here no mass can cross its boundary so this is the boundary for closed system and we can see here mass cannot cross this boundary but energy can cross this boundary what is energy Okay, if I mention about energy, I want you to remember that energy is about Q and W. So, if you can see here that the energy can cross the, this boundary in and out. So, it means that Q can moving in and moving out as well as work. Okay, and control system else is also known as a control mass. Okay, I hope you understand the definition of closed system. This is very important. Okay, so next, we will discuss about open system. What is open system? Open system is a selected region in space. Both mass and energy can cross its boundaries. Why it can cross the boundary? Because it has an opening. Therefore, mass can moving out. Open system is also known as a control volume. Okay, next we go to example 1. Example 1, I will show you the solution in another video clips. Then we straight away go to the Slide number 8, which is about the first law of thermodynamic of open system. Okay, as I mentioned in my previous slide, that open system mass can cross the boundary as well as energy. Energy is Q and W. So, when we talk about open system, okay, first thing first, we have to know what is the conversion of mass. Okay. For closed system, the mass of the system remain constant during the process, which means M is constant. But for control volume, mass can cross the boundary. The amount of mass entering and leaving the control system is keeping track. Okay, so this is the conservation of mass and we will di discuss about mass flow rate and volume flow rate. What is mass flow rate? Mass flow rate given as M dot. 
Okay, it's related to time. Okay, when we talk about uh, red, we always talk about time. So, dotted here shows that it related with time. Okay, so M dot is mass flowing through a cross section per unit time. And volume flow rate is V dot. What is V dot? Volume flowing through a cross section per unit time. So if we can see here, this is M dot in at the inlet is equal to m dot at the outlet and the unit is given as a kilogram per second okay so we know that m dot is equal to rho 1 a1 sorry a, a v1 a1 is equal to rho 2 a a2 v2 what is rho rho is density of a substance okay but we uh, in thermodynamic, we are not interested. We are not interested in rho. Okay, so we always redefine the rho as a uh, one over specific volume. Okay, so uh, we replace rho is equal to 1 over specific volume into this equation. Okay, so M dot is equal to rho A is area, C is velocity. Okay, so rho is 1 over specific volume, specific volume multiplied with area, multiplied with velocity. Then we will get the unit as a kilogram per second. Next, volume flow rate. Vo volume flow rate okay, is V dot is equal to M dot multiply with specific volume. What is the unit of M dot? Meter cube per second. Okay, that's all for this topic.